Don't see why you'd spend all that time arranging your food if you aren't making it look like a funny face. Cheers. What do you require? We had a contract with the Valian Trading Company to defend one of their most valuable properties. If you're looking for work, I hardly recommend them. They pay well, and they pay on time. Indeed, the good captain has four adequate berths, all equally sized, all facing the same direction, and she's promised to leave promptly. A most agreeable arrangement. Out of the question, we're due in Tokoa for another contract, and the client has already paid the advance. And we have already paid Seduzo. I couldn't possibly take back the same coins I have already spent. That will not do. That will not do at all. To Queen's birth, quickly. We must find a more suitable ship. This open in no time, as promised. Consider it. What is your business with me? That is convenient for you, but never mind. If there's trouble, I'm staying out of it. The births are paid for. You can send your friends as long as you promise not to make trouble for me. Just do it soon. I don't want any mess you've made to spill onto my decks. You must be new. Lucky for you, we have a special rate for newcomers. A bag of coppers in exchange for your life.
told you. It seems we've made a mistake, forgive and forget, no? <laughs> It's the smell of cardamom that drew you, no? Perhaps the sting of fresh pepper. Or maybe you seek something with a stronger bite. Food, of course, and supplies for the road. Though most here come to me for poisons and venoms. Then you'd best ask elsewhere. But careful. If the Mataru Overseer hears there's a sickness, might be he has more questions for you. Ernetso deals in such things. His shop is further down, next to the lift. Looking for something to sharpen the senses, to help you leave your sorrows behind? I got what you need. You made a wrong turn, Bilger. You don't belong in the row. I know who you are. I make it my bag to keep my eyes on the new fish that end up in the gullet. You're the type of scab that bores me. Feel free to piss off.
You need a blade or a bludgeon or some sturdy armor. Umani has what you seek. Then you blunt your teeth talking to me. Go and see Ernezo. His shop is just across the way. Back up. No shops this way, stranger. What are you doing up here? Akara, to survey the local, uh, <clears throat> established... Well, get downstairs before anyone sees you. What about you? Hold a moment. I'd remember that face. <laughs> you do not have a tongue for compliments, I say. You don't belong down here. The silent treatment is wasted on me, friend. Explain your business or turn around. I've had enough games for one day. You think I'm standing here so I can tell you about it? Come on, go. <sighs> That's up to Dario. What is this kith creature? All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> is it true some of your kind are covered in soft fur that feels good to pet? What secrets does it bring? Let us see. Let us see. No prize secrets in this one. Not like the others with the water sense. Their minds carry secrets of a damp cave. A hateful glare beneath a stagnant pool. A dead woman's regret. Gibberish. The floating spider had best explain itself. Kith hoard many secrets. The best ones they bury deep in their cities, behind mighty walls. But what secrets fill your mind? We wish to only see, to know, yet kith hide and hoard their secrets. We dig. There are many mines here with many secrets, many depths with even more. A city under a city. Another in the ruins. It teems with young secrets, rivalries and betrayals. We seek the older secrets, buried deeper and carved on weathered stone. Not when you have been such a miser with your own. Yes. Yes. You have been generous with us. There is a place below the slums. Old, cold, and abandoned where the city swallows those it wishes forgotten. But this place was once part of the city. So was its temple, a site holy to the goddess of distant, forgotten things. Not, yes. Yes. There is a place be... But this place was once po- You are looking for 
something, Aimeko. Perhaps I have it. Ernedza has not seen you before. You must be new. New or very good at disguises. <laughs> Another young water mage! Come, see Ernezzo's wares. You must spend that extra coin on something. I... forgive me. Do we know each other? Ecosy, it seems not. The mistake is mine. But how did you hear about this place? Wait, no. Do not tell me. Sometimes it is better not to know. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. Merla, it is a dangerous pest. When it dug its lair, it did not even ask permission of their... <clears throat> Of the boss. I assume this boss of yours has got a name? They say it is a mind reader. We in Delves Row are simple folk, quiet folk. It does not do to have a mind reader nosing among us. You understand me, yes? Eh? I hope you are not ill. But never mind. If the Mataru come asking, I will not tell. But Drowner's lung is very serious. Very deadly. The cure is not cheap. But how can one put a price on good health? If the price seems high, there is a certain little favor you could do for me instead. There is a certain merchant here, who needs to not be here. Then why do you haunt Delver's Row, huh? What do you think we do down here? All tea parties for the rats? That's the kind of thing somebody says when they don't want you to know that's exactly what they're doing. This merchant... Runs a shop at the end of the street. People know it as the Spindle Man. If you get rid of it, then I will give you the medicine. Uh, hold on, not so fast. Do they call him that because he carries a spindle, or because he's got spindly legs? Belfetto. Though, if your coin purse is so full, Take care that others do not hear it jingle. Your medicine, as promised. Hey, how did you do that? Can you do that again? Bless his heart if his strength and good looks ever go. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. A moment. This is a rare treasure, one for which certain people would pay a small fortune. I must ask, how did you come by this? Then you have quick eyes and quick hands. But who might want this old thing? You might speak with Dereo the Lean. He would be interested to know that such goods are... drifting. That I always a man with many connections. It is his business to know what and who passes through Delver's Row. To find him, leave Delver's Row, go right out of the market stall, then left at the intersection, and left again. But you did not hear it from me, Aimeko. 
Was there any other business you wish to discuss? You fancy yourself an antiquarian, yes? I heard about the medallion you brought to Ernesto. What I do not know are your reasons for doing so. A person of purpose, then. A person who desires something. Many things of interest pass through the Undercroft. I could grant you leave to visit and see for yourself. A favor for a favor. Your friend, why is he so nervous? Are we not civil company? Something I ate. A bad koaki. I have had a few myself. And this seems like something more, no? But I have just a remedy for such agitation. I Miko. I am always ready for business. But let us speak now of you, the Watcher of the Deerwood, yes? I am thinking we could be grand friends, you and I. You cannot have too many friends in Mekataka. The way he keeps saying friend really makes me feel like I can trust him. And I need only a favor, an insignificant thing for a Watcher like you. There is an artifact called the Cornet of Waves, which is currently in the possession of a Juana named Takano. I would like you to liberate it for me. Watchers see what many cannot. Takano is a man of many vanities, as your special gifts will no doubt reveal. 
His villa is on the eastern edge of Serpent's Crown, just downwind of the palace. The opportunist I first hired was too bold and found herself ejected from the district. With your genteel manners and unique talents, I am hoping you can avoid such complications and persuade Takano. After all, it would be best to avoid drawing the ire of our Mataru hosts. When you have the cornet, bring it to me. I will pay you well for it, and you will find my favor useful in this part of the city. It is an old Juana artifact, a musical instrument of sorts. Ages ago, it was part of a pair, but its companion, the Cornet of Depths, was lost when the old city sank. Both are said to carry the voice of Andra herself. Look no further, silly man. I speak with Ngati's tongue. And are you willing to sit upon my shelf for my entertainment? I do not believe in these superstitions, of course. I have told you all you need to know of the cornet. Now, I suggest you focus your sharp mind on retrieving it. What do you require? Why must we speak of sides, like squabbling merchants from the republics? Once, there were no sides. Only Principi, a people united by common interest and culture. But as our fame has grown, so have our numbers. Many of these new bloods have no sense of restraint and little regard for our heritage. But we need them still. The new bloods are Principi too now. And many are inventive in ways the old god is not. Inventive or not, their ships will end up in Andra's clutches. For such a serious people, you Rawataians have most colorful imaginations. Patience, first you must bring me the Cornet of Waves. Let us hope so. I hear rumors that Takano was robbed by an unknown thief. I do hope no one beat you to it. And now the real work begins. You must take this to the Undercroft. Funny how they never mention the real work up front. Ay, Miko. It is but a jaunt. It lies just below Delva's Row. It is where goods of questionable provenance originate. Take the lift from Delva's Row, not the lift in the gullet, mind you. My associate Gwenfen will await you outside a passage in the old Juana style. The ruins of the old city are perilous, yet rumored to hide great treasures. Still, the Juana do not permit people to go there except to die. And yet, among the ruins is a certain mosaic. Only to find it. The shell you found will reveal it to you. Gwenfen can explain all when you find her. It is said the old city was once as grand as Serpent's Crown. Whatever treasure you find there is yours to keep. For now, take this. Consider it an advance.
You the one. Go on. Lift takes you to the Undercroft. Speak freely. Any captain worth his salt could have done that without the fancy powers. Watershapers aiding the Principe. Bringing in cargo with all the grace of drunk oxen. I have never seen a more undignified use of our talent. Have we all honed Ngati's talent for drudgery? Nakara. Since the moment of my first inkling that something was amiss. The Prince will want to know of this, but... I am wondering if the Crown needs to know the truth about Delver's Row at all. This Warren brings business and trade through the gullet. Without it, the Raparo would be destitute. Hakera, let us hope that the Prince is as keen as his sister. If we want to save this place, we had better leave before taking too many chances. Our presence will not be kindly met. Just say the word. Hold it right there, mate. State your business. I mean it. Spill your guts or spill your blood. Oh, all right. That time you got here, the elf's been chewing her thumbs to nubs waiting for you. There, across the water. Little birds flittering in the old ruins. Hurry on, else she comes to squawk at us. that they could hide so much under our city. What have we here? Nothing will slip past me. Not a problem. Captain? Aye, aye.
time with Ishii. Not a problem, Captain. You were Ishii. Quiet time. Just say the word. Can do. Real quiet now. Let's get this over with. It's darker than the Andra's asshole in here. All yours. Dario said you know what to do. Dario took his time sending you. You got the key. You were supposed to pay our friend Takana a visit, relieve him of some old relic. You got it or not? That looks right. See if it opens that door over there. I'm supervising. I'm gonna watch her, make sure she supervises proper. Got something for me? Thought we'd been through this. I'm waiting for you to bring the goods so we can find Dario's mosaic and be out of here. What are you saying? It's hot down here, that's all. Anyway, if the boss wants something, I don't question his orders. Once Dario's got what he wants, you can dig around all you like. The sooner we get that door open, the sooner we can get back to fresh air and warm company. Where's the rest? Is that it? There's an old temple of Andra. Dario said it was just past this door. The one we need is bigger, and it should have a very specific mosaic. You'll know it when you see it. If you would steal or damage a shrine to Ngati, and may the water around you fill with sharks. Can it, Mama's boy? 
I'll wait here. Come tell me when you found it. Not much, apparently. I'm a bruiser. What do I know about cursed temples and things like this? You know, the Juana send people down here to be eaten by monstrous whores, right? You can take whatever you can carry out of the temple. Just report back when you found it. Makara, I hope we plan on carrying some to a museum. Carry at your grave as far as I care. Have we here? a fight. Yeah? Thank <laughs> you. 
see what's in here. That'll do it. Leave it to me. from me. A fear. A fear. This weapon's no good to me. <laughs> Speak, let's go. <laughs> right between the eyes. <laughs> it hardly seems fair. Better run! Too long here, but I'm slowly dying of poison. Be to oblige. This does not work. All things must come to an end. Even me. No can do. What can I do you for? Hang on, I'm coming. Yeah, right on target. Huh. 
Can't make a dent. I have the Alpha Predator. Speak naturally. I will swallow you whole. This does not work. Thank you. 